Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Jesper and today we have a special guest from VMware called Pim van der Vis. Pim, welcome. Hi, yes, welcome. Uh, my name is Pim van der Vis. I'm a subject matter expert in the EUC business unit with uh, VMware. Welcome again, Pim. Uh, and today we'll be covering some of the latest additions in DEM, also known as uh, Dynamic Environment Manager. Um, Pim, would you be so kind to, um, to take us on a journey? Sure, sure. Um, what I want to explain today is how we evolve Dynamic Environment Manager to become more ready for the modern workspace, um, moving stuff to the cloud. What I'll do is I'll try to start with the current situation and then I'll uh, show you how we can move that to, uh, to more leveraging more cloud-based services. So what you'll have today is, uh, well, let's start with an, uh, with an admin. He has control to a DEM management console. And with that console, he can create configurations for DEM, which is typically stored in a central file share. So this central folder or shared folder contains the DEM configuration. And finally, of course, we have an endpoint, a client that can leverage that. And on this client is the DEM agent installed. And what this client does is at logon, it reaches out to the DEM config share to be able to read the configuration and apply it on the Windows client. Now, the challenges are with uh, modern managed PCs is that these devices uh, can have a hard time reaching an SMB file share. So the benefits of the past of this file share is that it's a very lightweight infrastructure, it scales unlimited, basically it's very easy to make it high available, uh, restore, etc. But for modern managed PCs that are no longer domain joined, that are um, uh, not connected to the local internet, uh, it can be hard, maybe even requiring VPN clients, stuff like that, to access a file share. So what we've done is we've um, thought about this concept and what one of the things we now do is we can actually capture the complete content of, of this DM config share and put this in a single file. And this file gets the .dem config extension. This file contains exactly the same content as the share, but we're going to deliver this locally to the client so that the client can always access the content. Now the good thing is the DM Management Console has a new feature called Integration Mode. So with the DM Management Console, you can now create this DM config file. Now, how to get that DM config file to the endpoint is we're going to leverage Workspace ONE UEM. So we're going to assume this is a modern managed PC managed by Workspace ONE UEM. And within the Workspace ONE UEM console, we can now create a profile. And within this profile, we can actually define this, we can upload this DEM config file and then the profile gets delivered to the endpoint. So instead of having a central config share, you can get rid of that requirement and deliver the same content using a Workspace ONE UEM profile. Now there's a second file share which is required for DEM, which is the profile share because DEM is a user environment management solution. It can apply policies to the endpoint, uh, what uh, policies it should get, uh, whether or not application blocking, drive mappings, uh, privilege elevation should be enabled. But it can also capture the user profile. So your wallpaper, your Outlook signature, your favorite internet browsers, everything is stored within this, traditionally, within this DEM profile share. Now, with this profile share, we'll have the same challenge. You might need a VPN client, you might need Kerberos tickets to be able to reach it. So what we have done here is we thought about how can we make sure that the client can actually store files on location that's reachable everywhere. So the most logical thing to do is go to the cloud. And the cloud that we currently uh, support with this release, the 2111 DEM release, 
is um, OneDrive. So what we've seen is that most of our customers already adopted Office 365. And one of the benefits of Office 365 is that it comes with a personal storage location called OneDrive. So what we thought is, what if we can store the personal files for DEM in OneDrive instead of using this file share? Now, what we've done is uh, we've talked to Microsoft in order to make sure that we can support this. So we're going to use the MS Graph API to be able to do this. So at logon, very early, the DM agent now has a component in it that can actually talk to OneDrive and can load the profile from OneDrive into the client, store it, cache it locally during the session, any changes in the profile will be stored in that local cache. And during log off, everything will be written back to the OneDrive cloud folder on the internet. Now, there are some requirements to be able to support this because the DEM agent runs very early at logon. That means that there can be no user interaction. So if you have multi-factor authentication enabled, that will not work because there's no way the user can input uh, a multi-factor because the client cannot ask for a multi-factor because there is no user interface yet. Same goes for uh, the Azure conditional access. With the current release, this is not supported because the MS Graph API doesn't support MS conditional access. Now, I have talked uh, to Jasper about this, and one solution for this could be potentially to leverage the conditional access in Workspace ONE access. Because the third requirement for this is that you do need uh, to federate your on-prem AD to Azure AD um, because of the authentication that needs to happen. This can be done with either ADFS or with a, a third-party identity provider. I am working on a, uh, an article that I will release shortly that will talk about using Workspace ONE Access to make sure that you can federate and access the OneDrive for business. But it is one of the requirements. And because of that, you could use the Workspace ONE Access, conditional access policies to still support some form of conditional access without leveraging the, uh, the Office 365 conditional access. And with this, you can actually move completely towards the cloud. So you can get rid of your DM config share on the network. You can get rid of your DM profile share on the network by leveraging Workspace ONE UEM and OneDrive for Business. And that way, with DEM, you can move towards the future and make sure that you leverage everything from the cloud. Thanks for explaining, Pim. I think that looks very interesting to see how you can move from traditional components like um, SMB-based file servers to a more modern and cloud-based solution. Um, for one thing I did, I do have a question about. Let's say I've been um, happily managing my VDI infrastructure using DEM for many years, and I would like to move to this new concept. Um, is there any way to migrate my existing config files to the new uh, DEM config file format? Yeah. This DM config file is basically um, a zipped, compressed version of the DM config share. What happens if you configure the DM management console in Workspace ONE UEM integration mode is that it will no longer connect to the central share, but it will leverage a local temporary folder. Uh, so what you can very easily do is, as, as soon as you've started this DM management console, simply copy the content from your DM config share towards this temporary folder and everything is there. So it's just a file copy to get your existing config into this new concept. And then you can save it again in this DEM config format. And for the migration of the profiles, we are currently working on a solution to see if we can help the customer um, upload an existing file share to OneDrive. So that means that during a certain time you could run in uh, a migration mode. That means that both file shares will be accessible but we will upload the files to two locations. So we will still leverage the file share, but we will also already create a backup to OneDrive so that once you do the switch, everything is already in OneDrive and the user will not lose his personal profile settings. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, basically using the same simplicity that DM always has offered, but um, you're applying it to a new concept. I like it. So um, 
one thing that DM did really well with uh, on-premises VDI was um, having the creation of backup folders. Is there any way how we can leverage those in, uh, in Office 365 when using OneDrive? Yeah. yeah, the good thing is OneDrive for business um, comes with uh, an, an out-of-the-box versioning uh, solution. So every file that you change will automatically get a new version. And DM leverages that versioning technique of OneDrive, so you uh, don't have to think about backups because OneDrive for Business will automatically keep all the previous versions and our self-support tool can uh, make use of that. So if you launch our self-support tool, you will see all the versions that OneDrive for Business kept of each profile that you have. That's smart, using the native capabilities of the platform. Yep. I like that. Um, so Pim, is there anything you'd like to add for today? I think we're, uh, we're complete. All right. Yep. Well. Thanks for explaining. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for some new videos and we we'll hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.